Today on the Tuesday Trio, we're going to check out three free video editors that I've never used before. Usually on the Tuesday Trio, I give you a list of resources that I like to use. But today, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to look at three free video editors, none of which I have actually used. If you want to see me use them for the first time and my opinions of them, there will be a link right here whenever those videos come out. But today, I'm going to let you know what those video editors are so you can try them out yourself. Make it so. So the first of our three editors today is Lightworks. Again, I will be using these all for the first time later in the live stream. So right now we're just kind of taking a first look at them. So this is Lightworks. We'll create a new project here. And there we go. Right now we're in the audio tab. Looks like there's a log tab. Edit tab, I assume this is where you spend most of your time. I believe this is where the, this is the browser where the clips go. This is our viewer and this is our timeline down here. Looks pretty similar to a lot of editors I've used. Other than the tabs, that one's different. We have a video FX tab here. Then we also have an audio tab. Looks like you can do some more intense audio editing, like hum removal and such. So that's interesting. That'll be fun to play with. So that is Lightworks. Next we have Hit Film Express. So here we have our project settings. We'll just start editing so we can see what it is. All right, this looks this looks very similar to Final Cut. Actually, we have our trimmer here. We have our viewer. Uh, looks like we have effects and controls down here, and our timeline right here. Some big audio meters. I like those. Looks like it comes with a lot of effects, which is really nice. Generators, color corrections, blurs. So this one looks the most familiar to me so far. So that is Hit Film Express. And finally, we have Shot Cut. Uh, now, Shot Cut looks a little different than the others. But that might just be because there's nothing in there. Let's open a file and see. Yep, so that's our viewer. Here's kind of an inspector over here. And then I believe this bottom part is our timeline. I am excited to try this one out as well. Again, I have not actually used any of these yet. I thought it would be fun to use them for the first time on a live stream. Uh, so you guys can see me kind of bumble around the software for the first time. There we go. If you decide to try any of those video editors, please let me know how it goes. And stay tuned for my own rookie experience with said video editors. I will see you back here next Tuesday for another list of awesome.